There are several different ways to cook corn on the cob. We're going to try some today. We're going to do a standard boiling and we're going to put some on the grill. A few different ways of putting it on the grill. The water is boiling. Place the ear of corn that you've husked into the water. And now it cooks for five to seven minutes. Cook the corn for about six minutes. I'm going to put some butter on it. That's the benefit of the spray bottles. Some people like real butter. Use what you like. I'll let this cool down. So the boiled corn is good. Um, I cooked it for about six minutes. The, first of all, the, the corn itself is very good. Nice and sweet. I will say that boiled corn is a little mushy. And we'll see how the others rate up compared to it. One way to put it on the grill is to wrap it in aluminum foil. That's the foil coated with butter, and the butter I'm using is this Best Life spray that's supposed to be good for you. I will use the same butter on all the corn to ensure it was all done the same way, and we'll see which one I think tastes best. Okay, one ear is rolled up in the foil that's coated with butter, and that'll get put on the grill. Okay, so I've put one ear of corn that's wrapped in a foil with butter on the grill and this will go for about seven minutes. Turn the gas off. Got the corn. These are the greatest gloves, those oven gloves. Holding that corner doesn't even bother me. It'll definitely come in handy on the next thing we do. But let's check this one out. Once we've taken it out, you can kind of see that it's got that butter on it. It's already glistening. We'll give it a taste. So, I tasted the corn that was wrapped in aluminum foil and put on the grill, and it's good. It's it definitely crunchier than the kind that's boiled, but it still tastes very good. So, if you prefer crunchier corn, this might be the way to do it for you. Now, this corn will just soak. It's, it's not on the stove. It's just going to soak in here for about a half an hour-ish, and then it'll go straight on the grill. Let's start the grill back up. Whoosh. What we're going to do now is we're going to cook the two types of in the husk. That's just a piece of corn. This is the one that's been soaking for about a half an hour. And they're going to cook. They're going to cook. I'm going to keep that one in the back, the one that was dry, and the wet one in the front. And they are going to cook for 20 minutes. And about every five minutes I'm going to roll them. And we'll see how they come out. Now what a lot of people like to do is they will open up the corn and pull out the silk and they think that's a good idea. All that does is give you a better chance of burning the corn. So I left the husk in and that wonderful glove I have will help me be able to husk these when they're hot. Open the sucker up. They're charred pretty good. You don't have to worry about that. I'll turn the grill off. And what I'm going to do is the front one was the one that was in the water. So I'm going to put it in the pot so I remember which is which. And I'm going to let them both cool and then I'll husk them and we'll eat them. This is the husk one. It was pretty easy to do with the glove. I didn't get burned or nothing and I think I did quite well getting the silk off it. This is the one that was soaked first. I'm going to put some butter on it. You can see that it's got a little bit of grill mark which might add some nice grill flavor to it. Took 20 minutes and I'm going to taste it. Okay, now that's really good. It kept keeps its crunch and it tastes really good. I like that. I'm going to grab the one that was just not soaked or anything. We're going to husk it. Now I'm going to butter up the corn that just went straight on the grill in the husk. People worry about getting the, the husk off and the silk and all that. If you have one of these gloves, then you don't have to worry about it. And these are cool because you can wash them. 
All right, I'm going to give this a taste. Okay, that one's really good too. So here's what, here, I'll sum this up and here's what I think. Boiling it, if you like it kind of mushy, that's the way to go. Um, so if you want it done quick, uh, the aluminum foil way is a great way. It gives it, it's got a nice crunch to it still. Um, soaking it in water or not soaking it in water. There's a little bit of difference because when you soak it in water, it kind of gets a little steamed more. So I would say it was a little less crunchy than the one just put on the grill right in the husk. But that one, you know, you got to soak it. So if I would have to say which was my favorite tasting of all of them, I would say it's real close between in the husk dry and in the husk wet. Pretty close. And they cooked on, as you saw, they cooked on the grill right together. So either one of those methods was good. I liked, I liked it also wrapped up in the foil. I liked the, the quickness of it. You know, seven minutes, boom, you're done. The boiling, it, it came out mushier than I like. Some people like it that way. It was very good corn. None of them were bad, so my review would be just, you're cooking on your grill anyways, just chuck them in there. If getting a tiny piece of silk in your teeth would drive you crazy, because, again, as you can look and see, there's no silk in there. I, I didn't have a hard time. But then maybe you prefer to wrap it up in foil. But overall, I would say the grilling methods I prefer over the standard boiling it in water. Have a great day, YouTube. Go out there and cook the food the way you like it. Get it from a farmer's market. Cook it on your grill. Do whatever you like. Have a great and wonderful day.